Hooke wanted to explore the minutiae of life and using his revolutionary microscope began to open up the structure of the world about him. Telescopes, microscopes and air pumps are the basic tools of experimental science and Hooke either invented or improved them all. By enhancing our perception, these devices could crack open nature. The young Hook spent a decade opening up the secrets of the world. It culminated in his great book, Micrographia, published in 1665. Nobody had ever seen anything like these images. The Earth itself, which lies so near us, under our feet, shows quite a new thing to us, and in every particle of its matter, we now behold almost as great a variety of creatures as we were able before to reckon up in the whole universe. This was a media event. It's probably the greatest manifesto of the 1660s. It shows you the excitement, the vivacity, the energy that drives the new philosophy in Restoration London in a way that is perhaps more graphic, literally, than any other work that he produces. When Micrographia was published, people did rush to the shops to buy a copy. They made sure to try and get a microscope so they could see what Robert Hooke had seen. He'd seen man-made objects such as the tip of a needle or the edge of a razor blade. He compared their magnified imperfections with the beauty he found in nature, even in the mold growing on a leather book cover. Hooke's masterpiece now brought him to the attention of an unknown young Cambridge graduate. Isaac Newton made copious notes on micrographia. Hooke had written that light is made up of waves. In reaction, Newton set to work on his own theory that it's made up of particles. This was the beginning of a conflict that would eventually bring about Hooke's demise. It would also lead to a profound change in science, once Newton's mathematical approach became the ideal. But the two men's paths wouldn't cross for another seven years. While Newton could concentrate in the solitude of his study, Hooke was handicapped by his employer's endless demands. <laughs> 